How does it feel um, now that you are officially a U.S. Senator? Well, it feels like there's a lot of hard work to do. I mean, there's many issues that are facing the government. We're on track to confirm a record number of lifetime appointments to the federal bench. Facing the state of Missouri, the Missourians want their voices heard. I feel like somebody cares, you know, and then to have the senator here, that's an extra care. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to go and to advocate for the needs of the state of Missouri and for our way of life. Well, Senator Josh Hawley kept his promise to the people of Northwest Missouri. Senator Josh Hawley is calling for changes in the way the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers handles business. Introducing today two bills that will make flood control more of a priority, specifically along the Missouri River. A U.S. Senator from Missouri is set to tour the storm damage after tornadoes tore through mid-Missouri and southwestern Missouri. I've seen incredible numbers of volunteers. I've seen neighbors helping neighbors. And you talk about bravery, law enforcement, first responders, the fire departments, it, it is extraordinary. Senator Josh Hawley is introducing a bill to prevent police suicide. Suicide is now the leading cause of death for law enforcement officers. More than homicides, more than traffic accidents, and more than those two things combined. President Trump has signed legislation to provide mental health funding for law enforcement. Meanwhile, Senator Josh Hawley introduced a bill. Josh Hawley proposed a bill. He's introduced bills to make tech more transparent on data tracking, as well as trying to ensure U.S. consumers' data is not sent and stored in countries deemed a national security threat. The truth is that the social media giants would love to shut us down. They would love to shut us up. They would love to shut him up more than anything else, and we can't let them. Clearly, our trust and patience in your company and the behavior of your monopoly has run out. It has certainly run out with me, and I think it's time for some accountability. He will be traveling the whole state this week to meet more of the people he represents. I talked with nurses and barbers and small farmers, with people out of work, with moms and dads, and I'd ask them, one after another, why are you still here? Why do you still live here? After so many have gone, when jobs are too scarce, when drug use is too high. And what they told me, time and again, was very simple. They said, this is my home, and I cannot imagine my life without it. That's the power of community. Chance to represent the state of Missouri, uh, the state where I grew up, the state that uh, uh, I love, the opportunity to get to represent our people and uh, our way of life in the United States Senate is an incredible, incredible privilege.